All right, seventh grade, I'm going to show you guys how to change the atmosphere and lighting in the environment using Twilight Renderer. You'll go ahead and click on the sun with the clouds in the tool set, and you can see that we can edit the environment. It gives you a preview here. And of course, we can change the scene that we see. I find the ball works fairly accurate to get a good idea what the atmosphere is going to do. Right now, this scene is rather bright. You can see if I click my renderer, you can go ahead and run a preliminary rendering of this. And you can see it's reasonably lit up at the moment. Let's say I want to make it darker, lighter, change the sun. Right here, I can rotate the sun, change it 180 degrees from where it's at, so I'll be facing. I can change the intensity, the brightness of the situation. I'm going to go ahead and take that down by half, and I'll take the sun down, sun strength down by half. We'll see what difference that makes in our new preview. You can see I get different shadows here, quite a bit darker in my, in my environment. I'll go ahead and close that. And what we're going to do is I'm also gonna show you that you can change the color of the sun. So let's say I wanted to make the sun green. And I wanna bring up the intensity again just to see what all this looks like to give me just a different perspective. You can see that the green sun has then changed a lot of the colors and washed out things in the scene. It kind of looks more like an alien planet. So I'm going to go ahead and change that back just to white. And I'm also going to show you that we can change the way the sky also works. You could use colors, images, sky color, all sorts of different ones you can play around with. I'm just going to change this to a background color. And I'm going to change the background color here to something reasonably light. And you'll see that this will also kill a lot of that green back there. So you can see I will now use my renderer to show you the last preview. You can see all the green from the ground is gone. So those are some of the ways that you can change your sky. And I look forward to seeing how you guys use this in your next video.